Okay, so welcome back. Today I'm with Ryben, and we're going to be checking out the Neveri. So, please, uh, Hello. tell me more about your spaceship. Um, well, after I did the video with Dalmont, the, uh, on the, the work in progress lineup with the uh, SFW Libra, I was sitting there thinking to myself, I want a transport ship. So I decided that I wanted something that was, because his is kind of bulky-ish. I mean, in a really elegant way, but it's bulky with the giant container in the bottom. And I tend to build combat-oriented ships, so I was thinking of really, really fast transport that goes into a combat zone and gets the heck out afterwards. So I built it. Basically just stuck a needle with a couple of big old engines on the back and called it a day. Um, but it was a really organic build. I started with just the front end and then the rest of it just sort of appeared after about three hours of random thoughts and stuff. But yeah, it's uh, it's fast. It's incredibly fast. Uh, on a zero speed server where, you know, your top speed is whatever your uh, ship can hit, this will get over 500 and accelerate faster than most fighters. And I love it for it. And it's been my poster child on all of my live streams. So that's always nice too. What's this in front of you, by the way? Uh, the Talon. It's Kratos' ship. Very oh, nice. It's a nice ship. Yeah, it looks nice, but I don't know. I've never seen it before, but it... Kratos is one of those builders that I'm looking forward to seeing as he develops, because he's already really good. Mm -hmm. um, he did my... Uh, EFSF cube, after I built the internals, he did the artwork on it on uh, Saber's Planet for my embassy. And he did a really good job. Anyway, and while you're at it, while you're out there, you may as well take a look at the Sparrow Fighters. Especially since I probably just crashed. Oh, we did. We already looked at these in depth, I remember. Uh, did we? Yeah, different or video. Or did you and Delmar? Different video. They were attached to something else, and you said that they fit on your ship perfectly. Oh, uh, yeah. Different ship. Probably the last one down in your sizes, I'm guessing. What's that? No, actually, oh, I know is, what that, is. that was a Naviri. Wait a was... minute. What's on that? Um, what? <laughs> what the? That's... I'm sorry, I'm not in. I'm just popping back in right now. Well, I did a review on this guy's ship earlier, and he's come back, but he's got something docked to the bottom of it. Oh, God. <laughs> What's he doing? Wow. Yeah, yeah. It looks kind of cool, though. I'm that guy. So what's the insides of this? I need to look at the insides of your ship. Uh, yeah, if you want to come in through the hangar bay. At the back? Side hangers, here. Side hangar. Uh, towards the front. Let me, uh, I'll pop all the I'm in the middle. Looks cool. I see him. Yeah. Feel free. I will, I will meet you there. Oh, wow, my uh, core just went straight through the door. Oh, the door are open. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I mean, don't worry, you'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you in the hallway? I was in the hallway, I'm back in the hallway. <clears throat> okay. Hello. 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 <laughs> I love the new skin you got on the dev build, though. Yeah. Um, Although I'm gonna miss, here. I'm gonna miss this skin, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It's been with me for so long, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's you almost can't help it. Yeah. Oh. But it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the new one's pretty good too. The new one's fresh, and I can have like sunglasses and stuff and all kinds of crazy yep. stuff. Well, if you notice, well, I guess we'll get started. If you notice over uh, in the, if you notice in the hangar, there's four hangar pods on either side. Hence, yep. four beds. Right. In four beds. Rooms, yep. So a squadron room. Yep. Alert fighter, whatever. Um, it's kind of meant as a strike carrier, I guess. Um, this is my super secret way out. <laughs> super <laughs> secret, super secret way out. You always need one. Uh, yeah, there's two of them <clears> on the <throat> side. This is more like if you can get underneath it. But then I learned that in gravity, it doesn't work very well. Oh, really? You can't get in. <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, there's no gravity modules on here. I'm actually re going to be redoing the interior because since I've been on the dev, dev build so much, mm -hmm. um, there's just so much there and it's like, I don't want to do it. I just don't. Not right now. 
Mm. Um, but my favorite part, and this is part that I probably won't read, is right here. This is one of my favorite parts right here, is just the view out these windows. And uh, with the new procedural backgrounds, and you're flying through uh, here in Gravity, Saber was sitting here and he just goes, all right, uh, can we go a few more systems? Because I want to watch this. Yeah, it's just like, you've got like a proper restaurant at the end of the universe feel. Yeah, it's cool. Well, it's kind of like a, <clears throat> I would have to say this is a mixture between a liner and a cargo ship. What's with this? Uh, Oi. Th that's gonna be a bar. <laughs> what? What's this? Oh, I didn't even know about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, like man. Like said, work in progress. Yeah, yeah that's that's the spots. that's the where the bar's gonna go. They need <laughs> they need that. It's a closet. That's that's where the plex storage will be. Yeah. <laughs> for the for the bar, all the fridges, if you or the refrigerators. Um, it's mirrored on both sides. We'll. You know what, yeah, we'll go up to the bridge. It's pretty low-key right now, but again, it's semi-work in <coughs> progress, and it's, it's like half done. I like the color scheme. It's cool. Yeah. Um, this side right here, you, these back rooms are going to be, this one's going to be a uh, little computer center, yep. basically, yep. for uh, communications and all, because you got to have that. Um, and then this side right here, on the other one, is going to be a storage locker. Just a whole bunch of Plex storage. And that sort of thing, so it'll be semi. Yeah. Meant for two pilots. Got a pilot, co pilot, you know. Yep. Good stuff. And I'm going to put in new consoles and all. I just haven't. I know how I want to do it with the Tetras. Um, I was building with them earlier. And the Petras, like the way that you can make those screens pop. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So nice. And I, I figured out how I'm going to do it. The oh, version wow. that I have on the dev server is like almost done. Like, it's it's my rough draft. But it's well, how about we do a. How about we make your, your update like one of my first reviews on that point one? That's kind of what I was thinking is <laughs> by the time that Melt Point One comes out, I'll have the Argus done as well, and we can just do the lineup. Nice. And which like is why to... I was yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. Okay with uh, reviewing this one because I was actually holding off for a long time, but then I kind of realized how. Hello, Damon. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna bump this thing again. I know it. No, he <laughs> won't. Damon's cool. Look, they're on the gravity. Look, <laughs> they've just come to say hello. Yeah. Say hello. Kratos Yay. and Yelby. Kratos and Yelby with Dalmont. Sweet. Yeah. So where are we headed to next, bros? We're headed to the back. The back. The this back of the back. The back. So I gotta go. Wait, the back of down the corridor, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, down the corridor. I'm coming with you. And then in. Yep. Um, yeah, we'll do that last. Cause that'll work fine. Just fine. Here's uh, these will probably be uh, more like squat or uh, bunks, bunk rooms. Probably out of the bathroom or something. Cool. I haven't exactly figured it out. This is one of my favorite features. Yeah, a walk through the hangar without being in the hangar. Yeah, I did it initially on the ghost light, and then I was like, "Yep, this this is the perfect spot to do it again. Got to do it again." Um, these are elevators to get up and down again. Yep. Um, mind you, with the new gravity system, which Schema just updated today, mm. so that'll date. That'll date when we did do this video, I guess. Oh, did you <laughs> see? Did you see the gravity and uh, elevator design that Gaiason put in his latest ship? Um, it was really clever. It was like yeah, yeah, the the one where you jump up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I was there with you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you remember how he had that two-stage one? Yeah. So like, if you, you jump put, one side, jump on the other. Yeah, but yeah, but it, he had it so that there was a, it was like an opal that was deeper towards yeah. the top, so that you could have steps going up, or you could just use gravity to go up and down. It was quite a clever concept. Yeah, yeah. Because you had a ledge to catch yourself on at each level, but it was still one big hole. Yeah. <clears throat> it's quite I clever. will say, I will say for this one, mm. um, I normally put a gravity module at the front, right by the core, mm. aimed this way. Mm. And one right here, um, in front of the stairs, aimed that way. Yep. And you can just fall straight down to either end and you get there in no time. But, like all ships these days, you gotta have a conference room. Oh yes. So here's my conference room. 
And also, and the we... best... Yep, yep, yep. You carry on. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, the best part about this is, this ship is so fast that uh, you can sit here, and if I were to take off right now, and this was, again, not a limited at a server, yeah. uh, he, Dalmont could never, never catch us. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> <laughs> it, that means like, a lot to you right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, no, I mean, we tried it. I tried it against uh, Devon's Valkyrie, and that thing is fast. This is faster. And the scaling is really quite interesting. And, and admittedly, there's a lot of open wow. space in this thing, but who it's going to stay like that. Who brought the Transformer? Janus. Uh, bottom left? Yeah, yeah. It's a longbow. Oh, right. It is it's a, a really nice ship. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to look at that. Wow. See, this is the thing. It's so yeah. many ships. Hello, Kratos. Yep. All right, let's uh, let's head to the front, and I will show you, or you can jump in the core, because the stats are actually going to stay pretty similar. Because uh, the whole point of this thing is to be fast and not necessarily super strong. Although, in its defense, it did take on a start answer. I mean, it didn't fight it, but it did survive it for 25 sectors, which was. I figure kind of impressive with this long hallway that's just an open shot straight to the core. Mm. Something I might need to fix. Yeah, you gotta actually get that straight shot though, haven't you? Yeah, and so that's so what I was gonna, doing is as I was flying out. as I was flying I was rotating the whole thing. Mm. Just whatever I could. <laughs> that was that was nerve wracking because there was sixteen man ferrets. But feel free to jump on in if you wanna take a look. Just take a look. This is like and, this. This takes me back, right? Okay, so here we go. We got 10,000 mass, 285 meters long, 33 meters high, 99 meters wide. We got one million power storage. That's not right. There should be more. There's, there's a. a oh no 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 no! For some reason, it's just not recharging. That is oh. very strange. You've got. No, Check right. out the back. You'll see why that's the case. If you look in those yeah. giant engines, you've got one there's million. Ah, uh, right. So one million power storage because you haven't built the tanks in. One point yep. one. So it's at soft cap. Uh, mm -hmm. Thrust is thirty-seven. Yes, yeah, so it's nearly four to one ratio. Um, <laughs> the turning speed is X one point one, Y one point three, and Z one point zero. Oh. So I guess is that the pitch, or is that your turning? Uh, I get a mixed up. The right I know which one is which. Is X. So, so that's slow. Yeah, but your Y axis is the one with 1.3. Y would be up and down. Mm. So that's your pitch then. Yeah. All right. And uh, if you look in the engines, like that's actually kind of how they're going to stay. I'm going to add a little bit more power. Because when she moves, uh, she does tend to drain some power. Well, to be honest, I, I won't bother. You know, the stats are yeah. not that relevant then if you're going to be adding a load more power and stuff. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, it's interesting. Well, not a whole lot. I like the design. I'm just, I'm a bit of a fan of the, uh, of the design. You know, because yeah, just and because. Then up top, if you if you do a fly up, you'll see how much. Oh, you would see how much, uh, how many turrets there spaces there are. But now that they add mass, I'm not going to add them. <laughs> Something I learned. But yeah. So that's the Naviri as of the moment. She's gonna be She's gonna be a beast as soon as I do the I uh, what I mean I guess I call it a refit. Because I'm gonna have to go and reconceptualize a lot of the lighting, a lot of the Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can hide from me in my own shit? <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that I like the back of my hand. I do get lost in the Argus from time to time. <laughs> the Argus is too big almost. And I say that when I'm the one that built the Arcana. <laughs> you realize I can see you on the nav. I'm the nav, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I forget I'm the only one in Tab G. <laughs> <laughs> I will always find you. Um, uh, oh, change sector on me, huh? No, no, uh, no, no. <laughs> no, I just made a run for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I must have lagged there for a second because it looked like you just 
disappeared, and I'm like, oh, he changed sectors so he could move over like, <laughs> the wall or something. Yeah, I, uh, yeah that, that, it definitely would work. Yeah, it would. On me, especially. Because <laughs> I'd be sitting there going, what? What? I thought I knew where he was. <laughs> was he got like a personal radar jammer? <laughs> Hashtag suggestion? No, no. <laughs> it's a little bit too early for stuff like that, but one day, well, I'm sure. Well, maybe we'll talk to Schema about that on the next one day. stream when he shows up. That's it. I don't know how you'd make that costly, though. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, imagine that. Personal cloaking device, but you die with one shot kill. <laughs> that could do it. Yeah, that was a pretty big penalty. That <laughs> is a pretty big penalty. But anyway. And you lose all your credits when you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm and that. Evil like that. All your credits. Every single one. Yeah. And all your items. <laughs> Right, okay, and on that bombshell, I think what we're going to do is call it. So, uh, the name of the ship is the Naviri, and the builder is Ryben. You definitely need to go and check out his live stream, and he also has a YouTube. Did a pretty cool building with Dalmont series, which I've just been telling people about tonight. So, uh, yeah, go and check that out. And follow his live stream, because he's going to be live streaming more than I will. Um, and uh, I'm going to be looking forward to and taking part in many of those streams. So, with that being said, thank you for bringing me this ship. Anytime. And uh, thanks to everybody watching. There's like 10 guys in there now. Uh, and yeah, thanks to you guys for being there tonight because we've done a four hour lineup review live. I can't do lineup reviews live every week. So, uh, just want to thank you for that. And I'll see you next time.